Have you ever found yourself scrolling mindlessly or consistently pushing tasks off to tomorrow? Of course you have, and clearly, so have I. I probably shouldn't even talk about how much we abuse our snooze button, but that's where discipline comes in. It's what allows us to overcome that feeling of not wanting to do the thing that we know we probably should do. And we know that being able to do this over and over again eventually compounds and leads to success in whatever it is that we wanna do. Renowned Navy SEAL officer and author Jocko Willink says, discipline is the bridge between goals and accomplishment. And legendary American football coach Vince Lombardi said, the difference between successful people and others is not a lack of strength, not a lack of knowledge, but rather a lack of will. So in this video, we're going to discuss one habit that we can use to strengthen our discipline muscle and get this we don't even have to go to the gym to strengthen it and that's because the source of our discipline isn't in our muscles instead it's in a region of the brain called the anterior mid cingulate cortex it doesn't really matter what it's called scientists will always be extra when naming things but this structure in the brain has been associated with willpower and for the sake of simplicity we're just going to refer to it as our discipline muscle stanford neuroscientist andrew huberman recently interviewed arguably the most disciplined person on the planet david goggins to describe this structure when when people do something they don't want to do, mm -hmm. like add three hours of exercise per day or per week, or when people who are trying to diet and lose weight resist eating something. Right. When people do anything that they, and this is the important part, that they don't want to do. Right. It's not about adding more work. It's about adding more work that you don't want to do. Yes. This brain area gets bigger. Yep. Now, here's what's especially interesting about this brain area to me. The anterior mid cingulate cortex is smaller in obese people. Mm -hmm. It gets bigger when they diet. Mm -hmm. It's larger in athletes. Mm -hmm. It's especially large or grows larger in people that see themselves as challenged and overcome some challenge. Right. You can think of our brain as a giant office building. The discipline muscle occupies a prime corner suite, constantly evaluating information. It receives signals from different departments, your emotional sensor, your reward system, and even your sensory inputs. And based on this intel, the discipline muscle makes executive decisions. It's what helps you resist that cinnamon roll when your body is screaming for sugar. Now here's the cool part and the reason why I dragged you into brain anatomy class today, and that's that research suggests that our discipline muscle is in fact like a muscle. The more you use it, the stronger it gets, which means we can actually train our willpower. Studies have shown that engaging in activities that require us to push through discomfort activates this important region in our brain. This activation strengthens its connections and improves its ability to control our impulses and focus our attention. And this makes so much sense. I'll never forget the feeling that I had at the beginning of my surgery rotation in medical school and the feeling that I had at the end. For much of this rotation, I would have to be at the hospital at four in the morning and oftentimes stay into the late evening. At the start of this block, just waking up was tough. It basically took everything out of me just to get out of bed and I essentially emptied my gas tank before the day even started. And by the end of the rotation, I was so proud at how disciplined I had become because of the strenuous period of medical school that I was in. And it gave me even more admiration for people who are incredibly disciplined. Whether it's someone on the extreme side of things like David Goggins or just someone who is consistently prepared, hardworking, and great at what they do. But unfortunately, it requires a long-term commitment to uncomfortable work to get there with the key words being long-term commitment and uncomfortable. Could you imagine going to the gym for the first time, picking up the biggest guy there and trying to lift what he's lifting? You'd have a better chance of ending up in the emergency department than actually moving any of that weight. And that's because you haven't actually trained. You haven't intentionally and consistently pit your muscles through strenuous activity for them to grow. The same could be said for wanting to develop discipline without first putting yourself through challenging experiences that force our discipline muscle to grow. So I'm sure you're wondering what are some tangible things that we can do to activate this part of our brain and begin training our discipline. The key relies in what I like to refer to as the discomfort principle, which is discomfort builds discipline. So if you actually enjoy working out, unfortunately, exercise is not going to be the most effective thing for you to do to build your discipline. But if you hate exercising, then it may be one of the best things that you can do for both your physical health and your discipline. If you want to push your discipline and grow as a student, one of the best things that I personally think you can do is completing the Evolving Student Challenge. This is a 30-day course I designed to help you improve as a student, and we talk even more about discipline as well as tons of other topics that are key for students. You also get lifetime access to my Teach As You Learn community, as well as my personal Notion workspace that we work through throughout the course. And as a personal gift for making it this far in this video, if you use the coupon code DISCIPLINE when checking out, you'll get access to all of these things for half the price. Coupon is only available for the first 100 customers, so make sure you check it out as soon as possible if you're interested. Now, since you're going to love this course and it only lasts for 30 days, you may want to consider another habit that you can use to build your discipline. Determining what habit is best requires you to be honest with yourself and find the discomfort activity that is most appropriate for you. Whether it's the trending cold plunges, exercising every day, or just turning your phone off at a certain time, which I'm sure would work for all of us, 
The goal is just to pick one thing and stick to it every single day. Because the same way how our discipline muscle will grow as we use it, it will also atrophy or shrink when we stop. That's why getting back into the routine of school after summer vacations were always the worst. But you can think of this one habit as your disciplined maintenance. And maybe once you're retired and have accomplished everything that you want in life, then maybe you can stop it. But for the time being, the one habit you choose may be one of the most impactful things that you can do for yourself. And if you're having trouble thinking of something, you may resonate with the habit that I'm placing in my own life, which is a self-imposed ban on the snooze button. I don't think there's anyone in the world who would prefer getting up in the morning rather than hitting the snooze button. And if you think you're one of those people and consistently sleeping more than seven to eight hours per night, set your alarm clock a bit earlier and see if that's still the case. But regardless of the habit you choose, it's important to practice your discomfort technique regularly to train your discipline. And if it begins to feel too easy, switch it up or find ways to make it more challenging, no different than you would by increasing the amount that you're lifting in the weight room. But for me, I'll let you guys know if my snooze button recovers from years of abuse. That's it for this video. If you liked it, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Oh wait, before I go, if you want a shirt like this to remind yourself to continue exercising your discipline muscle, we are now officially launching our Keep Evolving merchandise and you can find shirts and sweaters and coffee mugs all of those things like that to remind yourself to keep evolving. You can find more information below, but again, I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you did, you'll probably enjoy this video where I talk about the five things that I will never do after surviving medical school. And as always, keep evolving, and I'll see you guys in the next one.